Welcome to the Car Valley CXO interviews. This time we're not talking about new car launches, we're not talking about market share, we're not talking about um, initiatives that uh, manufacturers are going to take to help boost their market share. What we're talking about this time is COVID-19. We want to know things like how OEMs or car manufacturers would need to change, what the dealers would need to do, and will the demand come back and how strong would the demand be when it comes back in full flow. Also, is there something that car customers, new car buying customers would want different now going forward? And who better to answer these questions than the captains of the industry? So, who's joining us this time? Let's find out. Hi friends, I'm Tarun Garg, Director Sales and Marketing for Hyundai Motor India and this is Take 10 with Carwale. I think that's a million dollar question and I wish I had a, a strong answer for it. Mm -hmm. I understand that the customer sentiment at this point of time is not so high so probably it will take some time to get back. Uh, at the same time when we see the uh, past uh, history of the Indian auto, uh, say 2008 Lehman Brothers crisis, what we find is that uh, uh, probably Indian uh, auto market is quite resilient and the recovery is uh, relatively better. I think one reason is also because uh, car is still uh, almost like a necessity here. The car penetration levels are still low at 27 per thousand. Uh, there's a vast rural market uh, which has its own benchmarks of, uh, of economy because it is more dependent on monsoons and uh, the good crop and which I believe is going to be the case this year. So my take on this is that uh, yes, um, uh, probably these huge negatives seen in probably this quarter would uh, slowly start tapering off and maybe January to March next year we can probably come back to the last year levels and uh, from there on uh, we can be on a, on a growth path. Uh, our OEMs will like to give more and more digital solutions to the customers. That is number one. OEMs will also want to bring in more and more exciting technologies and new models because what we have seen is that nothing excites and engages the customer more than new models and new technologies. OEMs would really want to give more and more value to the customers. They would want to communicate to the customers in a way which they are able to empathize more, they are able to understand more. Uh, I think OEMs will also uh, uh, probably have to act much more local, much more customized. Uh, I think each customer will have to be treated as one separate identity rather than having a generic solution you know, which, which is applicable to all. I think these are some of the things which probably uh, good OEMs, strong OEMs will want to do and probably that can get them a very good trust with the customers. Uh, like I said, uh, one is they will definitely want some kind of a digital uh, solution both in terms of buying a car or even servicing. They would want a contactless service. Uh, they would want a, maybe a pickup uh, from his home in, 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 in best sanitized conditions. And then of course the delivery of the car also sitting at home. They will look at an online payment mode. Uh, besides, I think uh, a digital solution, they would also want the customer, uh, would want the dealer to really understand their needs, give him some kind of options, uh, whether it is in terms of financing, because uh, different kinds of customers can have different kinds of needs. Some may want a low EMI, some may want a low down payment, uh, you know, some may want a step up scheme. So the, these are some of the things which the customer would want, uh, but he will want most of all an empathy and an understanding of his needs and then it depends on the OEM and the dealer to really make sure that those customer expectations are met and then I think uh, frankly that trust will develop between the customer and the dealership uh, along with the OEM and then sky is the limit then there is no looking back and we can really come back to original sales level as well. Yes, dealers also will need to change big time. I think uh, they are the actually real custodian of customer. They are the ones who own the customers. So they have to give them a very good service experience. Uh, 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 of course, meeting the new needs of these customers because definitely these needs have changed uh, uh, over the past two months of Corona. Uh, then uh, the, also uh, the dealers will have to provide uh, more and more customized solution to the customers. Maybe he will need to open his workshop for longer hours. Uh, 
he will need to really make sure that the payment options are to the customer's liking uh, maybe give him more finance options which are uh, suited to his needs uh, again we, uh, the dealer must make sure that as minimum contact is happening with the customers because currently what we find is that even to buy a car maybe a customer gets in contact with maybe 10 12 15 of the dealer uh, employees but maybe now the time has come where uh, you know maybe one employee can take the needs of all the customer and he can be kind of a customer for life he can be the executive for life uh, for that customer i think that is what is the need of the hour and that is what the dealers if they do uh, then probably they'll be able to uh, build that bridge with the customers Yes, digital in car buying is something which uh, we have been hearing for the last three years. Uh, but so far, frankly speaking, digital was limited to maybe pre-sales exploration or at best a booking online. But now, uh, like Hyundai launched a click-to-buy platform in January uh, where we test marketed it. And then, of course, uh, we had a full launch in, uh, in March, April. And what we are seeing is a very good traction from customers because what we have done is that the customer can actually go to a click to buy site he can register himself he can choose the car he can choose the exteriors and interiors in fact he can take help from a sales consultant at a dealership also sitting at home and of course then he can choose his way of delivery whether it is at the showroom or at his home or at his office so it's an entire 360 degree car buying uh, facility which is being offered to the customer so I feel that uh, many customers would really offer this digital uh, kind of a solution and this will be like a complement to the current dealerships uh, because currently dealerships see that uh, walk-ins are one source of inquiries maybe inbound calls are another source of inquiries some events are a source of inquiry so this digital source of a click to buy kind of a thing could become a very important source of inquiry for the existing car dealers and it can really help him to optimize his cost, satisfy the customers more, and of course get more and more sales. So new and exciting things from Hyundai. Uh, yes, we have just launched uh, the EMI Assurance Program. Now we understand that uh, in these times, there are many customers who are facing a lot of uncertainty. Uh, maybe they feel that there is a possibility they could lose their job, uh, they could you know the salaries could reduce uh, basically their ability to pay an EMI uh, could be seriously dented going forward so to such customers who have these kind of doubts we have launched a very innovative industry first kind of a scheme uh, which is called an EMI assurance program where what we are telling the customers is okay uh, we understand that you take a loan from the bank to buy a car and suppose you buy the car in May and unfortunately if you end up losing your job in the next one year then Hyundai on your behalf will pay three EMIs to the bank so that period you can use to maybe find a new job so i think this is more about uh, a kind of a confidence to the customer uh, assurance to the customer that yes we are with you in these times and you can take uh, the decision we understand that you need to buy a car we understand it is your big mobility need and we have um, uh, moved ahead taken a step to help you realize your dream then also we understand that these times customers are looking for some kind of uh, innovative and much more importantly customized solutions in finance so we have la launched some five very exciting finance programs uh, for different categories of customers Shared mobility, uh, yes, in the short term, uh, there will be some effect uh, because customers may look for a personal mobility space uh, for himself, uh, uh, you know, in addition to his home and his office, he would want to be uh, feel protected and he would not like to really expose himself to maybe public transport. So that would have some effect on the shared mobility uh, and uh, customers may want to go for a subscription model or buying a new car or maybe buying a pre-owned car as well. So, but uh, at the same time, I feel uh, affordability is a very important factor and the shared mobility has really led to a lot of convenience for so many customers in India. So, uh, I don't see that this is the end of shared mobility. I think it will, it will come back and uh, India being such a big market, I think there's an opportunity for, uh, for all of us. Uh, for shared mobility, for personal mobility, for subscription, new cars, pre-owned cars. Uh, uh, I think th there are advantages of being in a developing country with a, uh, with a young population. So I am optimistic 
that yes uh, uh, indian car market is here to grow and, uh, uh, and and our indian customers will continue to buy cars use cars and in fact the usage should now only go up uh, because customers are going to use car more and more uh, because earlier they may be they were using cars only on weekends but now they will be probably driving it much more to office every day as well EVs uh, yes i understand that uh, many experts are predicting that probably this is the end of EVs uh, globally and of course in india as well but i feel that uh, just linking EVs to the oil price is uh, not a very good view probably it's a very myopic view to look at things uh, i think india has already moved uh, big time into cleaner mobility i think the transition from bs4 to bs6 was very smooth and uh, all the owners were able to uh, rise up to the occasion and really provide customers with so many options petrol diesel cng in bs6 uh, uh, last 40 45 days of lockdown have also shown us the uh, importance of a cleaner environment so uh, i think the uh, yes maybe one or two here and there can happen because of the capex requirements um, at the same time as long as the uh, innovations and the investments keep on happening in the ev space uh i think globally we would see uh, evs uh, uh, slowly start in making uh, foray and uh, going forward uh, we should see a good penetration of evs in india as well so thank you very much it was great interacting with all of you thanks a ton and all the very best to all of you